Hi friends, it's Mail Monday. Do you want to know more about songwriting? Got my hat on. Stay tuned. So last week, I had this question come in. Would love it if you could make a video on songwriting and the basics needed to start writing songs. Good question, good, good comment. Um, songwriting, that's kind of complicated. I mean, it's not just like, let's do this 10 minute video and we'll cover all the bases and you can just start going. Songwriting is a little complicated because there's so many different aspects to it. But you know what? The bottom line is just start writing something and producing something. And it doesn't matter what chords you use, it doesn't matter what lyrics you use, if you want lyrics, or what melody you use, just start doing something. Because I can guarantee your first song is going to be not the best. Or later on, after you've been writing a few songs, then you're going to look back and say, hmm, I'm doing better now. <laughs> because it takes a while. Just like videos, you can go back and look at my early videos and you can see what they look like and then look at these videos now and see how much we've improved. The same thing with songwriting. You start to write songs, just start writing a whole bunch of songs and you will get better really quick. In fact, if you could write a song a day, that would be really good. And in a year, you'll be an expert. <laughs> okay, so songwriting, where does it come from? Let's talk about that just for a second. I was teaching a student one time and I asked him, what song do you want to do next? And he said to me, I don't know. And I can't tell you how many times I've heard this, I don't know, from somebody. And so I just picked up my guitar and went, I don't know what song to play. And I said to myself, that, that was kind of cool. I kind of like that. And so I just used, you know, Knowing music theory a little bit, and knowing that uh, in the key of G, because that's the chord I start out with, and C and D, those are your what we call your primary chords. So that's what I just did. I I played a D, and then I played it. Excuse me, I played a G, then a D, and then a C, just for fun. I don't know what song to play, and that's what came out. And I thought, that was kind of neat. So I pulled out my phone and I put on the audio recorder and I just recorded that little clip. And later on, <clears throat> I came up with uh, this little part. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Right? And I thought, that's kind of cool too. So I had these two ideas and so um, I just started in G and improvising basically and I don't know that's what I said first I don't know what song to play. and I was just thinking about what my student said to me I don't know I don't know what song to play I don't know what to do so that's where that inspiration came from I actually wrote a whole song on that particular idea and the idea of writing a song and developing a song because you can get a good idea and songs don't usually come out all at once sometimes they just come out in little pieces and then you take your tools you open your toolbox you figure out how to put it together and what to do and and then you come up with a song so what are some of the ideas of a song or some of the elements of a song is what I really should say well there's form like there's an intro or there's a verse chorus a lead, a bridge, those kinds of things. Those are in songs. Um, there's melody. Uh, in the song that I did, I don't know what song to play. So I just came out with that and I thought, oh, that's cool. And so I, I just kind of went with it. There's also harmony. For instance, uh, I don't know what song to play. I just did some different chords with that. I don't know what song to play. So I just played an E minor. I don't know D. What 
song to play. A minor. I don't know what song to play. And that time I harmonized it with G, D, C. And the other time I harmonized it with E minor, D, A minor. Right? And I know that these chords are in that key, and it's music theory that's helped me. So tell you what, we will do a section on songwriting, and as we go through our music theory, we'll point to songwriting as we go along. Let's see, what else? Oh yes, there's a comment on our video, uh, what do you do with a drunken sailor? And he said, and this goes actually along with songwriting too. He said, try to use more chords. And then he gave some examples of what chords to use. Well, the video, let's see, it was an A minor. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Lie in the morning. Right? That was an easy video, and, and it works really well with just those two chords. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Lie in the morning. Way ho, and up she rises. Way ho, and up she rises. Way ho, and up she rises. Or lie in the morning. Now that E note right there, and we'll talk about this on Theory Thursday too, but I could use a, an A minor chord with that E. Another chord that I could use would be E minor. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Now that's an A note, and this is a C note. What do you do with a drunken sailor? So that works really well with that chord because it has all of the notes in the chord. In that in that melody. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Now right there. What do you do with a drunken sailor? Let's see, what's another chord that I could use? What do you do with a drunken sailor? 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 That's a C chord, right? That note is in the C chord. What do you do with a drunken sailor? Okay. Um, what do you do? There's a D note. What do you do with a drunken sailor? And I was using a G uh, chord to harmonize that. That's pretty traditional. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? I could use a D chord because the D's in it. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What else? Um, the, uh, oh, a B flat has a D in it. What do you do? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? All of those chords. What do you do with a drunken sailor? Although, when I do the, e, the B flat chord, even though it has a D in it, it's actually out of the key of A minor, which is in that song. Uh, we're lying, we're lying the morning, we're lying the morning, we're lying the morning. Let's see what would be. We're lying the morning, we're lying the morning, we're lying, we're lying the morning. We're lying the morning. I can do that too. G to E to A minor. We're lying. That works, only I don't love it as much. We're lying. I like that, the E minor there. We're lying. So, the idea about using different chords and harmonizing a melody with different chords, we will get to that on Theory Thursday. This week, I believe we're going to delve into the beginnings of scales because scales and notes are the building blocks of music. Now knowing theory doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be a good songwriter but it gives you options, it gives you tools to work with. So come and see us on Theory Thursday. 
Tomorrow's advanced Tuesday. Let's see, what have I got for tomorrow? Let me see here. Well, I was thinking about talking about the capo. So come and see us tomorrow and we'll talk about what to do with a capo and a little bit about a capo and kind of clarify some things about using a capo and why we use a capo and that kind of thing. Thanks for being here on uh, Mail Monday. Check us out on the different days and there's playlists in the description. You can hit any of those playlists and you'll see the, the videos that we've done on the different days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday. We have Sacred Sunday. And we also have playlists for chords and uh, basics and different kinds of things like that. So check those out on our page. Subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. Thank you very much. And watch the videos all the way through. It would be so cool if you could do that. Thank you very much for coming. See you later. Bye. Oh